Hello, this is Ranger Chris from Mountain Rescue. How can I help you? Uh, please rescue me because oh. I think I broke my leg. Oh no. Uh, may I know who is this and your location, uh, please? Um, I'm Elise. Um, okay. I will share the location via phone. All right, Elise. Uh, please stay calm. I will send the rescue team as soon as possible. Do you have a torchlight with you, Elise? Uh, yes, 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 okay. I do. All right, don't worry. We'll be there as fast as lightning, so you can use the torchlight. But stay put, all right? Okay. Uh, please hurry. Okay, we'll do. All right, friends. It's time to gather the team and rescue Elise. Here we go. Alright, it looks like I'm going to need more help to rescue Elise. Hi everyone, you're watching Tahab Duo with me, Ranger Chris, on today's rescue mission. And joining me today is none other than teacher Zakia. Hi teacher, Hi. how are you today? I'm good, how are, are you? Are you ready for today's rescue mission? Yes, I'm All right. ready. So it looks like we need more help for today's rescue yes, mission. Yes, we do. And it looks like I have four uh, rescue team members also with us. So let's say hi to them. Hi team, how are you doing? All right, teacher, could you please introduce our team members for today? Okay, yes, thank you, Chris. All right, we have four pupils. Okay, we have actually two hardworking bees and two beautiful roses. Let's start with the first one. We have Daniel Hazik from SK Datuk Said Zain Al Shahab. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Welcome Hi. to the team. Okay, and the second one, we have Nur Zara Alisha from SK Felda Kahang Barat. Hi, Nur Zara. Hi, Zara. Hi. And the next one, we have Amirta Durgashni from SK Kenoshan Convent, Kluang. Hi, Amirta. Hi, Amirta. Hi. Okay, one more person is missing. He's on the way to he's the rescue the mission. Yes. Okay, he's going to grab more mm. gear for us for our yes. rescue mission today. Yes. All right, so before we actually proceed with today's mission, I would like to ask my friends watching at home and also on Google Meets, are you ready for today's mission? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Yes, okay. So, Teacher Zakia, what are we going to do today? Okay, today we are going to learn on help, help, please rescue me. Ah. Help, 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 please, please rescue, rescue me. me. Ah, I think you can guess what we are going to do today based on what we are wearing, based on the uh, our surrounding right now. Yes. Ah, you can see the mountain and the trees. Mm. Ah, we are going to actually save Elis. We are going to rescue Elis. Yes. Mm. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, so now let's start with looking at the learning standards and the objectives. Okay. okay. The learning standards, we have two because we are focusing on two skills. We are going to do listening activity and speaking activity. We are going to do listening activity and speaking, speaking activity. activity. Okay. Right. The first learning standard is 1.2.2 understand with support specific information and details of longer simple text and then 2.1.3 explain and give reason for simple advice and for that let's look at the objectives by the end of the lesson you should be able to listen to and understand the conversation by transferring information in the table at least six or eight correctly and for the second objective, give at least three reasons correctly when giving advice using should and shouldn't. All right, so this is our rescue mission for today. Now, my friends watching at home and on Google Meets as well, let's take some time. We're going to take a short break for us to gather all our gear for today's mission. Are you ready? We'll see you right after this.
ID TV KPM. Hey everyone, I'm Ranger Chris and welcome back to today's Tahap Dua slot on Bahasa Inggris on the topic of Help! Help! Please rescue me! That's right, because we are on a rescue mission today. And joining me today is my friends on Google Meets as well as teacher Zakia. Well, teacher, in this segment, what are we going to learn, teacher? Okay, we are going to do two skills actually. Uh, listening and speaking skills. And okay. let's start with our listening activity. All right. So to start, I would like to ask a question. Uh, who would like to answer this question? What's mountain climbing? What's mountain climbing? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. All right, Rangers. Mountain climbing. Who would like to volunteer? You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand if you want to answer what's mountain climbing. Mountain and climbing. Okay, I would like to pick uh, Zara. Would you like to try to answer this question? Okay, Zara, you can try to answer this question. What's mountain climbing? All right, I would like to help my friend Zara okay. because we're all a team. Okay. And I would like to say, I think she's, she can agree with me as well. It's an outdoor activity, teacher. Yes, it's an outdoor activity where you climb mountains. mountains. Yes, you climb mountains. And it is actually quite adventurous, mm. quite dangerous. Right. Mm. All right, so let's move on. Oh, sorry. Let's look at the rescue teams to save Elise. The All rescue right. teams to rescue Elise. Okay, now, here we have a hiking trail of the mountain and we have four rescue teams four different rescue teams. We have the first one, the climbing team. The climbing team. The second team is we have the ambulance. And then we have the motorbike. Okay. And the helicopter. So these four rescue teams are going to try to rescue Elise. Ah. All right. Now, what do you think each team can do? What do you think each team can do to rescue the climber, to rescue Elise? Uh, we have climbing team, ambulance, motorbike, and helicopter. Who would like to give it a try? Climbing team. What a climbing team can do to rescue Elise? Come on, raise your hand. Any volunteers? Any volunteers? Come on. Amirta, I think I would like to ask Amirta to try. Okay. What a climbing team can do to help Elise? A climbing team can climb the mountain to can climb the mountain to the location. Ah, mm. yes, very good. Good job. Okay, how about the ambulance? Uh, Daniel, would you like to try to give it uh, to give your answer? The ambulance can drive to the hiker to the hospital. Mm. Mm, can right. drive the hiker to the yeah. hospital. Okay, good job, Daniel. All right, how about mo the motorbike? Zara, would you like to give it a try? The motorbike can go take the in people that got injured. Ah, the motorbike can go and get the injured person. Okay, good job. Okay, let's look at some of the answers. Okay, for the climbing team, they can walk to the location, mm. yes. And then for the ambulance, they can drive the climber to the hospital. And for the motorbike, they can, uh, the motorbike can ride to the location to rescue Elise. And for the helicopter, uh, the helicopter can fly the climber to the hospital. Uh, it depend, depends on the situation. Right. Okay, so let's look at the meaning of can do. Can do means something positive, the things that you can do. Positive. So negative, what does it mean by negative? Who would like to uh, give it a try? Ne negative means? Okay, Zara, yes. They have a problem. A problem. Negative. A problem. Something that they can't do. So, yes. Negative mm. means a problem. Negative means a problem. problem. Something that we cannot do. Okay, so from this lesson, let's listen to the conversation and transfer the information to the table. However, before we do this activity, uh, I would like you. I would like to ask our pupils here to take out the paper that I have given to you. Ah, yes, very good. Open it. 
Okay, I hope you're ready with that. Okay, and then let's look at the information that I have provided. We have eight different information here. Okay. Okay. Of all four, eight of all of of all eight of all eight information. Okay. Four of them are positive, and right. four of them are negative. negative. Yes. So four positive statements and four negative statements. Okay. Okay. The first one, it will arrive very quickly. What do you think about it, Chris? Is it positive or negative? Mm. Arrive very quickly. What do you think? Positive or negative? Ah. All right, my friends say it's positive. Yes, it's true, it's positive. How about it can't land on the mountains in the dark? It's positive or negative? Mm, this one is negative, teacher. Negative, very good. So I think you get the idea of ah, positive and negative. negative. Ah, all right. Okay, so let's read all these eight informations and then I would like you to transfer them into this table. Okay. Ah. To be able to transfer these statements in the table, you will need to listen to the audio. All okay, right. I hope you are ready. Listen carefully for the first time. Okay. Track 1.7, Unit 1, Lesson 8, Activity 3. 1. The climbing team can walk all the way to Misty Mountain. But it will take three hours to get there, so we won't arrive until seven o'clock. Two. We can send an ambulance. It will arrive very quickly, but it can't cross the river, so the doctor won't be able to get to Mr. Dobbs. Three. We can send a motorbike. It can follow the path and then cross the river at the bridge. But it's very difficult to get up the mountain because there is a tree across the path. 4. We can send a helicopter. It will get to the mountain in 10 minutes, but it can't land on the mountain in the dark. The sun doesn't come up until 8 o'clock in the morning. I can see that our pupils are very... Uh, hard working in answering the question, uh, uh, in completing the table here. All right, don't worry. I'm going to replay the audio. Uh, okay. So you can listen to the audio one more time. This right. will be the last time, okay? okay. All right, let's, let's listen, listen together. Track 1.7, Unit 1, Lesson 8, Activity 3. 1. The climbing team can walk all the way to Misty Mountain, but it will take three hours to get there, so we won't arrive until seven o'clock. Two. We can send an ambulance. It will arrive very quickly, but it can't cross the river, so the doctor won't be able to get to Mr. Dobbs. Three. We can send a motorbike. It can follow the path and then cross the river at the bridge. But it's very difficult to get up the mountain because there is a tree across the path. 4. We can send a helicopter. It will get to the mountain in 10 minutes, but it can't land on the mountain in the dark. The sun doesn't come up until 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. All right. Good job, everyone. I hope all of you managed to get all the answers correctly. I think let's check our pupils' answers. Yes, let's let's check the answers. All right. Okay. Oops, sorry. Who would like to give it a try for the climbing team? Ah, which one is positive and which one is negative for the climbing team? Amirta, can you give it a try for the first one? Sure, teacher. Okay. Climbing team. Positive. They can walk all the way to the mountain. Negative. It would take three hours to arrive there. Hmm. Let's check the answer. Okay. Yes. Correct. They can all walk. Uh, they can walk all the way to the mountain. And the negative one, it will take three hours to arrive there. Good ah, job, Amirta. So I think I can give her one star. One star. Hmm, Amirta. All, all right. Okay, good job, Amirta. All right. Good job. Who would like to give it a try for the ambulance? 
Okay, Zara. A positive for the ambulance is it will arrive very quickly. The negative one is it can't across the river. Hmm, let's check the answers. Yes, the ambulance can arrive very quickly. However, it can't cross the river. Good job, Zara. Good so job. So I think I give her one star. One star. Good job. Thank All you. right, okay. Next one, the motorbike. Ah, Daniel, can you give it a try? It can follow the bus and across the river at the bridge. The, poly the negative one, there's a tree across the path. Mm. Let's check the answers. Yes. yes! Very good, Daniel. Congratulations. Good it job. can follow the path and cross the river at the bridge. At the bridge. However, there's a tree across the path. Right. Mm, so there's okay. a problem there. Right. Ah. So how about how, how about the last one? Helicopter? Teacher, can I try? Yes, Chris. Can okay. you give it a try? For oh, oh wait, before that, Daniel oh. gets a star. Yeah, Daniel got a star. Daniel. Good job, Daniel. Alright, so for helicopter, hmm, the positive is it will get to the mountain in 10 minutes. It's very fast. But the negative is it can't land on the mountains in the dark. Is that correct? Let's check. Yes. yes! It will get to the mountain in 10 minutes. However, the helicopter can't land on the mountains in the dark. So do I get a star, teacher? You get a star. You Ranger can... Chris yes. gets a star. Good job. All right, good job. Let's give a round of applause to the rescue team for today's mission. Now, teacher, just give us very quickly example. So do we choose which team should go first or it's all four going at the same time? Ah, it depends on the situation, is it? Okay, it depends on situation because each team has a problem. Mm. Mm, so it, it will be a, a bit difficult to rescue Elise. So right. after this, we have to discuss together on how to rescue Elise based on the information given here. Alright, so teacher, could you also share with us what do we just learn in this segment? What do we focus on? Okay, uh, on this segment, we actually learn listening act listening skill. Okay. They learn to listen for specific information. Okay, the information are the positive and negative. And they were able to uh, discriminate, the to differentiate the difference of uh, positive and negative. Positive means uh, mm. something that they can do okay. and negative means a problem, something that they can't do. Right, mm. so for example, in this example, for the climbing team, the positive statement is they can walk all the way to the mountain, which is good. Yeah. But the, the limit or the problem that they would face is it will take them three hours. Now, why is this negative, friends? It's because it will take too long. Too long, The time yeah. is too long. Mm. So, but for example, if you're looking for something faster, then maybe we would want to consider the ambulance. Mm. Because the positive statement is it will arrive very, very quickly. quickly. But, however, however, what is the negative statement? What is the problem that the ambulance might face? Right? That's right. The ambulance cannot drive through the river or in the river. So that would be another problem. Mm. So do you understand the positive and negative statements of today's exercise. Now, this is very important, friends. You know why? Because we are going to rescue Elise very, very soon. So be sure to get ready for today's rescue mission. But, but first, teacher, we'll take a short break. Now, for those of my friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for today's rescue mission with teacher Zakia and my friends, Zara, Daniel and Ameta. We'll see you after this. d TV, KPM. TV KPM Hi there everyone, you're watching Slot Tahap Duo with me, Ranger Chris, for today's English lesson. Help, help, please rescue me. That's right, it's because we are on a rescue mission today with teacher Zakia as well as my rescue team over here. We got Zara, wave at us, Zara. Hi Zara, Daniel and Amerita. Okay, now in this segment, we are going to focus on giving advice. Alright, Teacher Zakia, over to you. Okay, thank you, Chris. So today, we are going to uh, do a speaking activity okay. on giving advice using should and shouldn't. shouldn't. Using should and shouldn't. shouldn't. Ah, okay, so to start, I have two questions. First mm. one, what do you think we should do when we go mountain climbing? Anyone would like to give it a try? 
What do you think we should do when we go mountain climbing? Yes, Daniel. She, she should bring some first aid kit because she can cure herself. Ah, we should bring our uh, we should A bring first aid, first aid kit. kit when right. we go mountain climbing so that we can actually cure ourselves whenever we got injured or something. Just in case. Just, just in case, case any yes. injury just happens. Just in case, yes. All Very right. good. Good job, Daniel. I think I can give him one star. One star. Yes. Good, good job, job, Daniel. All right. The second question. What do you think we shouldn't do when we go mountain climbing? Who would like to give it a try? Okay, Amirta. I think you shouldn't bring heavy stuff when you're mountain climbing. Ah. ah we shouldn't yeah. bring anything heavy yeah, when we go mountain climbing. Good job, Amita. Good. good. Okay. Very good advice. One more star One for star Amita. For Amita. Good, good job. job, Ranger. Okay, let's look at some of the answers we have here. I think we should go mountain climbing with some friends because we won't get lost when we are together. Yes, ah. that's very, very true. Okay, do you notice when I write, because we won't get lost when together? So that is giving reason for the advice that you give. Ah, okay. The advice is, I think we should go mountain climbing with some friends. Okay. Why? Because we won't get lost when together, when All we're right. together. All right, for the second question, what do you think we shouldn't do when we go mountain climbing? I think we shouldn't carry a lot of things when we go mountain climbing because we might fall. So ah. because what well, because we might fall is the reason for the, the advice. Ad advice given. Okay, mm. so we always have to add a reason together with the advice. Yes, when okay. you give advice, there must be a reason for it. Understand. Okay, let's move on to our speaking activity. All right. We have four teams, four rescue teams to rescue the mountain climber, the climbing team, the ambulance, the motorbike, and the, he the helicopter. helicopter. Okay, the climbing team, the positive is they can walk all the way to the mountain. However, it will take three hours to arrive there. It's too long. Mm, too long. Mm. For the ambulance, it will arrive very quickly. However, it can't cross the river. Mm, it's right. a big problem there. Yeah. So how to solve that problem? We can send the motorbike. It can follow the path and cross the river at the bridge. But there's a tree across the path. Oh no, mm. that's another problem. And then we have the helicopter. It will get to the mountain in 10 minutes. However, it can't land on the mountains in the dark. Ah, okay, so based on this information, for the speaking activity, please use the structure given at the bottom. Ah, okay. I think we should send the team. Which team? Because the positive information for the team. Ah, as for shouldn't, I think we shouldn't send the which team because of the negative statement. Mm, okay. Okay, are you ready? All right. Okay, so, so I pick? think we can start with uh, Zara. Zara, can you give it a try for climbing team? Uh, for climbing team? Okay. I think we should send the helicopter team. Because okay. it will arrive very quickly. Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, Zara, helicopter, the positive information is it will get to the mountain in 10 minutes. Can you check your answer again? Oh, ah. Sorry. It's okay. You can do it again. I okay. think. I think we should send the helicopter team because it will arrive in 10 minutes. Mm. It will get to the mountain in 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Good job. How about the negative one? I think we shouldn't send. I think we should just send the climbing team because it will take three hours to arrive there. Mm, okay, good job. You mix them up. Yep. It's either helicopter or it's either climbing team. Good job. Good job, Zara. I can give you one star. One star. Ah, good job, thank Zara. Thank you, Zara. Okay, who would like to do the second, act, uh, the second one? Uh, Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Oh, Daniel wanted to unmute his mic, but he actually on ah, his camera. It's okay. okay, it happens, it yes. happens. Okay, 
Go ahead, Daniel. I think I think we should send the ambulance because it will arrive quickly. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. How about the negative one? Shouldn't? I I think we should send the helicopter team because it can land on the on the mountain in the dark. In the dark. Good job, Daniel. All right, one star for Daniel. One star for Daniel. Yes. That is good advice. Good, good advice. advice from Daniel and We Zara. should send the ambulance because uh, it will arrive very quickly. However, we uh, we shouldn't send the helicopter because it can't, can't land, land the on the dark. mountains in the dark. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now it's Amita's chance. Okay, Amita. I think we should send. The ambulance because it will arrive very quickly i think we shouldn't send a motorbike because there's a tree across the park mm, good job amirta okay thank you so i think amirta can get one star, one star. good advice from amirta as well mm. okay okay thank you amirta yes i think everyone has understood on how to give advice and explain Mm. Uh, Teacher, can I reasons. try? Yes, you can okay. try. It. So I would, I think. So this is my advice. I think we should send the motorbike because it can follow the path and cross the river at the bridge. Mm -hmm. I think we shouldn't send the ambulance because it can't cross the river. Mm. So that's my advice. Good is job. Is that good advice? Yes, teacher? good advice. Yes. So okay. do I get a star? One star. One star. One star for you. All okay. right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what's I, next? Okay, let's do another speaking activity. Before that, let's think. Mm. Okay. You have two ways, two ways to rescue the injured mountain climber. Two ways to rescue the, the injured mountain climber. How? Only two ways. Ah, how? Okay, let's look at the problems that we have. Okay. Okay, we have four teams, climbing team, Ambulance, motorbike, and helicopter. And these are the problems. Mm. These are the problems for the teams. Okay, the climbing team, negative, it will take three hours to arrive there. So what kind of problem is it? It's a time problem. And then for ambulance, it can't cross the river. So what problem? What is the problem? The river, river problem. problem. Okay, the motorbike, there's a tree across the path. So what's the problem? It's a tree problem. It's a tree problem. And for the helicopter, it can't land on the mountains in the dark. So what's the problem? It's a darkness problem, It's teacher. a darkness problem. So, so many problems. Ah, so many problems. So which problem can you move? Ooh. Time, river, tree or darkness? Which problem you can move? Ah, okay. Uh, Zara. The tree. The tree. What do you think about it? Trees. Can you move the tree? It depends. Yes, it depends, teacher. I don't know how big is the tree. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> okay. So time. Can we move time? Oh, cannot. We cannot move. We time. cannot move time. Yeah. Okay. And then how about how about river? Can we move the river? Cannot. You cannot move the river. Yeah, the river right. is there. You cannot move the river. The darkness. Can you move the darkness? No, we can't, teacher. Yeah. So oh. the only thing that we can move is it's the, the tree. tree. Very good, Zara. Very One good. star for Zara. Wow. Good job, Zara. Now okay. everyone has got three stars. Ah, okay, so for the speaking activity is choose two ways to rescue the climber. So as we discussed just now, okay. we can move the tree first. Yes. Ah, so after we have moved the tree, what can we do next? So ah. choose two ways to rescue the climber. Use this structure. I think we should send the which team first because... Ah... Just now we discussed uh, to move the the tree, right? And then we should send the witch team to the mountain because something positive. Okay. okay. Ah. Who would like to go first? Yes. Who would like to go first? Oh, Daniel. Okay, okay. Daniel would go like ahead. to go. I think we should send the climbing team. Climbing team because it can cut the tree. Hmm. Then. We should send the send the motorbike team to the mountain because it will it can follow the path and and 
and across the bridge. Mm, cross the river. Cross the river, yes. Mm, very good advice. Then finally be able to save to rescue Elise. Elise, that's mm. right. So the, the the climbing team goes to cut the tree first. Yes. And then send the motorbike team. Yes. Wow, very wow, good advice. Good job, Daniel. Thank you. So Daniel got one star. Good job, Daniel. Daniel gets one star. Very good. Okay. okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Zara, would you like to give it a try? I think we should send the helicopter because it will get to the mountain in 10 minutes. Then we should send the ambulance team to the mountain because uh, it will arrive very quickly. Ah, mm. okay. Thank you, Zara. But there's a problem. Remember the tree problem and right. the helicopter, it is, it is because of the darkness. It can't land on the mountain because of uh, it, because it's really dark. Right. Ah, so you have to move the tree first to be able to go to the to the mountain to rescue Elise. Okay. Ah. Okay, Amrita, would you like to give it a try? Sure, teacher. I think we should send the motorbike because it can follow the path and cross the river at the bridge. Then we should send the ambulance to the mountain because it can arrive very quickly. Okay, mm. thank you, Amita. Still, yep. we have a big problem. Because the tree is still because there. Because the tree is still there and okay. the ambulance can't cross the river. Right. Ah, so how can the uh, ambulance reach the mountain to rescue Elise? Yes. Ah. This is very good, but it's still very good because from uh, listening to Amrita's advice, Daniel's advice, and also Zara's advice, we can see the difference mm. on how to solve each problem. Yeah. So does Amrita and Zara also get SAS teacher? Mm. I think they they give some. I great think opinions. we we should give he uh, we should give them one star. One star for being able to actually give advice. Yes. Uh. Okay. Good job, Zara and Amirta. Zara and Amirta. All right. So looks like based on the advice that we heard, Daniel's advice seems to be the best advice for this problem. Yes. Because we can move the tree first and then send another uh, rescue ambulance team or other teams, so we can uh, the motorbike team so that the tree is not blocking already. Mm. Well, good job for those watching at home as well. I'm sure you have given us great advice as well as my rescue team over here. But teacher, before that, I would like to ask you what did we learn in this segment? What did we focus on? Okay, for this segment, we focus on speaking activity okay. and we learned two speaking activities. One is the giving advice and explain, uh, give reason for the advice given using okay. should and shouldn't. And then for the second speaking activity, it's uh, quite challenging. They have to think of a solution, uh, mm. two ways to uh, uh, suggest uh, uh, two ways to rescue Elise because each team has a problem and how to solve the problem. All right. Mm. So, do you know how to give advice? So just take some advice from Ranger Chris. Remember, whenever you want to advise, always add a reason to the advice. So in this example, I we should send the motorbike team because of what? So it depends on the statement and the reason. All right? So are you more capable of giving advice? If you are, give me a thumbs up. Or oh, my friends in Google Meets as well, give me a thumbs up. All right. That's right. So teacher, I am so excited and I'm so ready to rescue Elise but first we will take a short break we're going to gather our materials and gear for the rescue mission don't go anywhere we'll be right back here on Diddy TV KPM KPM. Hey 
everyone, I'm Ranger Chris and welcome back to today's rescue mission at Didate TV KPM and I'm here with teacher Zakia as well as my rescue teammates. We have Zara, Amerta and Daniel and we're going on a rescue mission today. But first, let's recap what we have learned today. Over to you teacher Zakia. Thank you Chris. Okay. Today we have done two skills, listening and speaking skills. Who can tell me what have we learned for what have we done for listening skill? Mm. What have we done for our listening activity? Uh, what have we done? Amrita, can you give it a try? What did you do in the listening activity just now? We fill up the answers in the in the table. Table. In the table. All right. Thank you. Good job. You, you fill up uh, some information in the table. We call it listen and transfer information about the rescue team in the table correctly. And you were able to do that. Good job. Okay, how about for the listening activity? We actually... For the speaking. Did you? Uh, for, oh, sorry, okay. for the speaking activity, our pupils were able to give reasons for advice using should and shouldn't. Right. Uh, using should and shouldn't, give advice using should and shouldn't. Okay. okay. Now, to test you, uh, to test you, your friend is going mountain climbing next month. Your friend is going mountain climbing next month. What advice would you tell him or her? Ah, this is to find out whether you can give advice or not. Okay. Ah. So who would like to try to okay. give their advice first? Ah. Come on, Rangers. Don't forget to use should or shouldn't. Okay, okay Amirta. Let's start with Amirta. I think she should wear proper clothes and shoes while she's climbing the mountain. Mm. We should wear proper clothes when go mountain climbing. climbing. Ah, okay. When we go mountain climbing. Good job, Amirta. Okay, next, who would like to give it a try? Zara. Okay, Zara. I think she should not uh, bring too much stuff, so... Her back will not be too hurt. Too mm, heavy. Too mm. heavy. I think uh, she shouldn't. Okay, our friends, we la, we we should not uh, bring carry uh, carry too many stuff because our bags will be too heavy. Good job, Zara. Okay, next one, uh, Daniel. I think she should bring anything such as food because it will. Difficult to walk. Uh, sorry, could you please repeat? I think she should bring a, a lot of unmixed stuff, such as food, because it will be difficult to, to walk. Oh, shouldn't bring too many uh, unwanted stuff. Ah. Ah, unimportant stuff. Ah, right, right. Because okay. it will be too difficult to go mountain climbing with a lot of food. Ah, yeah. Usually, you will bring only simple food, like maybe biscuits. Yes, ah, something light, yeah. so that it's not too heavy. Can like you what? bring stick when uh, you go mount mountain climbing? You can, but it's not advised because it can be much of a hassle to even cook it there. Or mm. even, you know, so biscuits, cookies, that would be great. That would be great. But based on the advice that I heard from my friends and my teammates, it sounds like when you give an advice, you must also give a reason. A reason, so yes. So in Daniel's and Daniel's case, you shouldn't bring too uh, too many unnecessary things because that would just make your bag heavy. Mm -hmm. Same like Zara's reason as well. Mm -hmm. So teacher Zakia, how did my rangers do today for today's lesson? Are they ready for the rescue mission after this? Yes, I think they are ready to rescue Elise. Okay. So let's give them stars. Uh, I would give Daniel one star. One star. Zara. One star. Okay, and for Amirta, okay, you can get one more star also. Ah. All right. So it looks like everyone has one, two, three, four, five. Good job, team. You, all of you, got five stars. Great job. All right. Also, teacher, for my friends watching at home and my other rangers who would like to get the materials for today's lesson on speaking and listening, where can they find it, teacher? Okay, for our worksheet, uh, for the worksheet for yeah. today's lesson, you can get them uh, from Sumberku. Sumberku, mm. all right. So, 
Before that, I do have a question for all my rangers out there. Are you ready to go for our rescue mission? If you're ready, give me a double thumbs up. Okay, so you are ready. I am ready. But Teacher Zakia, before we go on a mission, I want to say thank you so much for today's lesson and preparing us for our rescue mission. So Teacher, are you ready? Yes, I think we are all ready to rescue Elise. Let's go! Okay, we have things. Hmm. My bag, my gloves. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the, the mountain, mountain when she comes. comes. She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! We're coming, Elise. She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! She'll be rescued from the mountain. She'll be rescued from the mountain. She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! She'll be rescued from, from the, the mountain, mountain when, when we come. come. All together, yeehaw! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! She'll be rescued from the mountain. She'll be rescued from the mountain. She'll be rescued from the mountain when we come. Yeehaw! 